How to Add Products to Google Merchant Center. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add products to the Google Merchant Center and how you can navigate the Google Merchant Center. So let's jump right in. Now we all know Google for retail and we all hear about Google Merchant Center, but what exactly is it? Well, the Google Merchant Center is a Google-based account that you create, which allows you to advertise your product on Google platforms, such as all the ads that you see around websites, the ads you see on YouTube, all of those are powered by Google. So setting up a Merchant Center and adding your product over there can help you in boosting conversions and getting more sales. So how can you get started with the Google Merchant Center? First, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add your product, and then we're gonna go more into depth about the setup of the Merchant Center. So I have a Google Merchant Center account over here. The first and most primary thing about any Merchant Center account is your online store. So for any Merchant Center account to be created or for you to add your products, you need to connect to your online store. You guys can see I have data sources and within any merchant center, you have a source, which is going to be your website. If I delete this source like this, you guys will see that I don't have a source to import my products from. You can go into products over here and you will see you have the option to manually add products. Now, manually adding products is fine for smaller businesses that have a few products. But if you're a larger business with a wider range of products and you have dynamic products, which means that you have a rotation of products that are going to come and go and you want them to sync up on their own, then you definitely do need to connect your online store and sync up your product. So first, I'll show you guys how to manually do this and then we're going to move towards syncing. So you can click on add products over here and you can connect to Shopify. You can add products from a file. You can use a Google Sheet template. You can add products one by one or you can add them using API. Now API is the best way to do this when you are doing bulk products and you can either connect them with Shopify. Most people are using Shopify as their primary e-commerce store builder. So it works for most people to use Shopify as well. So first, you're just going to go ahead and add products one by one. Click on continue over here. And once you click on continue, you're going to manually add your products. So you can add or remove all the countries you want to show your products in. Once you do that, you can proceed. So I can go ahead and proceed with adding product info. So for example, I have my product page on my online store. So I would have to manually open up Shopify. Once I open up Shopify, I can go on ahead and open up the link for my product. So I'll have to go into product on the left. I'll have to wait for my product to be opened up. And then I can add the link, then I can add the title of my product. So let's say it's a lipstick. Then I can add my brand over here. Then I can add a description. So melty lipstick like this. And then I can add my product images manually. I can upload them or provide an image URL as well. Then I can set the price, condition, and availability. So obviously uh, for most sellers, you are selling new products, but even if you're a reseller, you can also sell used or refurbished products. You can set up your product identifiers, countries, labels, marketing methods, other information about your product, such as shipping info, product details, like the color, the material, and more. Now, all of this can be pretty hasslesome. So if you want to simplify this process, you can do this even if you don't want to connect your Shopify store, but you still want to add your product, you can go on ahead and click on add product source and add products from a file. Now, Shopify allows you to download a file which has all of your product info and it is going to let you make sure 
that your product info is formatted the same way that Google files are. So you can download the Google Sheet template and then organize the info from your Shopify files in the same way. So I'm just going to log on to my Shopify store, which for some reason has a couple of issues right now. I'm just going to have to reset up the store maybe. For some reason Shopify is a bit slow right now, but let's proceed with the Merchant Center. Now, the final way in which you can ensure that your products are synced up automatically, you can connect to Shopify. So you can click on the first option and this is how you know you dynamically connect your products and have them sync up. Just choose connect to Shopify over here and then click on yes, continue in Shopify. Then you're going to log in to your Shopify store, choose the Google and YouTube application and click on install. Now over here, you have to ensure that the connection between Shopify and your merchant center is established via this application. You can even integrate a Google Pixel to do advanced tracking on your store as well. That can just be another way that you are able to provide more value for your business with the Google Merchant Center. For some reason, Shopify is having a any bit of an issue right now. I'll just set up a new store altogether. I just feel like that's going to be quicker to do at this point. So I'm just going to have to sign up over here. And I just think Shopify is lagging right now and click on manage apps yeah shopify is lagging a bit right now so that is why it's not connecting properly even to the um youtube and google application but as you guys can see over here it's currently waiting to sync with shopify so once i just install the application onto my shopify store then my products from shopify would be automatically imported over here with the information that is present within them so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to add products to the Google Merchant Center for your business as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video